Hi, my name is Nan Yang. I'm glad to introduce our work D3VO, Deep Depth, Deep Pose, and Deep Uncertainty for Molecular Visual Odometry. In this work, we propose D3VO, a novel molecular visual odometry framework which exploits deep neural networks on three levels, deep depths, pose, and uncertainty. D3VO integrates the three estimations tightly into both the front-end tracking and back-end optimization of a sparse direct odometry framework. The evaluation results show that D3VO can deliver comparable results to state-of-the-art sterile, LiDAR, and visual inertial odometry while using only a single camera. Odometric constancy is the core of self-supervised monocular depth estimation networks. However, the assumption is sometimes violated due to the different illuminations. We therefore propose to align the illumination conditions of the source and target images and then calculate the photometric residual. To realize it, we let the network predict the affine lighting transformation parameters A and B from PostNet. Then we apply the affine transformation on the intensities of the target image. Note that the two parameters are learned self-supervisedly without the need of ground truth labels. However, only modeling the illumination change is not enough to capture all failure cases of the photometric constancy assumption. Other cases, for example, the non-lumbertian surfaces like the windows on the image can also violate the assumption but hard to model explicitly. Therefore, we leverage the concept of aleatoric uncertainty, which we name sigma, to model the other factors which violate the photometric constancy. The result on the bottom right shows that the network is able to predict higher uncertainty on the reflective windows. The predicted sigma can be seen as a learned loss attenuation which makes the learning process more robust to the noisy labels. In fact, sigma can also be interpreted as the learned ways of the photometric residuals in direct VO. Therefore, we integrate the uncertainty into direct or sparse odometry by replacing the original weighting function with the inverse of the learned uncertainty. The predicted depth maps are integrated by using a virtual stereo term inspired by deep virtual stereo odometry. The predicted poses are integrated into both the front-end tracking and back-end joint optimization. For the front-end tracking, we build a nonlinear factor graph for direct image alignment. For the back-end optimization, we add a post prior term in addition to the photometric term. The total energy is then minimized with Gauss-Newton method. Please refer to our paper for more technical details. We now show the evaluation results. We first compare the proposed network with MonoDepth 2 on both KT and York datasets. The proposed network outperforms MonoDepth 2 with a notable margin. And the ablation study also shows the effectiveness of the predicted uncertainty and the affine parameters. We test the generalization capability on the Cityscapes dataset with the model trained on KT. As we can see in the images, the proposed network can generalize well on both depth and uncertainty estimation. Note the marked area where there is a large window with strong reflectance. Next, we show the evaluation results of visual odometry on the KT dataset. D3VO can deliver comparable results to the state-of-the-art stereo methods despite being a monocular method. It can also outperform other deep learning-based methods with large margins. Then, we evaluate D3VO on the EURC dataset. The results show that D3VO can deliver comparable results to the state-of-the-art molecular inertial and stereo inertial methods while using only a single camera. In the end, we show a video of D3VO running on the V103 sequence of the EURC dataset. As a comparison, we show the reconstruction result of molecular DSO on the left. As you can see from the video, D3VO can deliver more consistent 3D reconstruction, which reflects the lower drift of the pulse estimations. Thanks for watching.